Good morning children. Today we are going to solve the questions of exercise 30. In the previous videos, we have understood what is fraction, how can we divide an object based on the given fraction, what is numerator and what is denominator. Now since this exercise is based on understanding the two important components of a fraction that is numerator and denominator, let's understand the same once again. Any fraction is written in the form of numerator and denominator. Numerator is always written above the denominator. Suppose we have this circle which is divided into 12 equal parts and the number of parts which we have to consider are the shaded ones. So when we'll write the fraction showing the shaded part in this figure, then we'll write in the form of numerator by denominator. So in this case, numerator will be the number of shaded parts and denominator will be the total number of parts in which this circle is divided. So the fraction showing the shaded parts in this figure will be 5 by 12. Similarly, if we have to write a fraction showing the unshaded parts, then in that case, denominator will remain same, which is the total number of parts in which the circle is divided, but the numerator will change as Instead of the shaded parts, now we have to consider the number of unshaded parts. Therefore, the fraction showing the unshaded parts in this circle will be 7 by 12. 7 is the total number of unshaded parts and 12 is the total number of parts in which this circle is divided. Now, after understanding the concept of numerator and denominator, let's move ahead and start solving the questions of exercise 30. Question number 1. Write the numerator and denominator of each of the following fractions. Now children here you can see there are total 10 parts in this question. And we have to write the numerator and denominator of each of the fractions which are given. So this is very simple. You can see there is a line separating the numerator and the denominator. The numeral which is written above the line is called as the numerator. And the numeral which is written below the line is the denominator. So it's very simple in part A. Numerator will be 2 and denominator will be 5. Similarly, in part B, numerator will be 6 and denominator is 7. In part C, numerator is 9 and the denominator is 13. Part D, the numerator will be 8 and the denominator is 15. Part E, the numerator is 3 and the denominator is 10. Part F, the numerator is 7 while the denominator is 16. In part G, the numerator is 9, whereas the denominator is 19. In part H, the numerator is 11 and the denominator is 17. Part I, the numerator is 14 and the denominator is 25. Part J, the numerator is 19 and the denominator is 36. So children, you can see it is very simple. The numeral which is written above the line is the numerator. And the numeral which is written below the line is called as the denominator. So whatever fraction is given to you, you can easily write the numerator and the denominator. Let's move on to question number 2. Write the fraction in which the numerator is equal to this and denominator is equal to this. Now children, in this question, the numerators and denominators are given. We have to formulate the fraction according to the given numerals. Now let's start with part A. The numerator is 7 and the denominator is 9. So the fraction for this particular question will be 7 by 9. Part B, numerator is 1 and the denominator is 6. So the fraction will be 1 by 6. Part C, denominator is 5 and numerator is 4. Now children, you have to be very careful while writing the answers. In part C, instead of writing the numerator first, the denominator is written first and then the numerator is mentioned. So, we'll follow the same rule. Numerator will be written first and below the numerator, we'll write the denominator. So, the desired fraction for part C will be 4 by 5. Similarly, in part D also you can see the denominator is first mentioned. Denominator is 11 and the numerator is 10. So, the desired fraction for part D will be 10 by 11. Let's move on to part E. Numerator is 3 and the denominator is 6. So the desired fraction for part E will be 3 by 6. 
part f numerator is 14 while the denominator is 25 so the fraction for part f will be 14 by 25 part g numerator is 1 and the denominator is 8 so the desired fraction for part g will be 1 by 8 part h denominator is 30 and numerator is 7 so the fraction will be 7 by 30 because we first write the numerator and below the numerator we write the denominator let's move on to part i denominator 27 and numerator is 14 so the desired fraction will be 14 by 27 part j denominator is 15 and numerator is 7 so the fraction will be 7 by 15 so in this way we have done question number 2 let's move on to question number 3 fill in the blanks now children in this question you can see there are in total 5 parts and in each part a fraction is being provided and we have to fill in the blanks let's start with part a in 12 by 13 the dash is 13 now you can see 13 is written below 12 so it means 13 is the denominator so here we will write denominator in the given blank part b in 9 by 20 the dash is 9 so what is 9 9 is the numerator so we will write numerator in the given blank part c in 15 by 22 the numerator is dash so we can clearly see that the numerator is 15 so we will write 15 in the given blank part d in 17 by 28 the denominator is dash so the denominator is 28 we will write 28 in the given blank part e in 11 by 19 the dash is 11 and the dash is 19 so in this fraction 11 is the numerator and 19 is the denominator so in the first blank we will write numerator numerator is 11 and in the second blank we will write denominator denominator is 19 so in this way today we did exercise 30 of chapter 9 fractions do give a thumbs up if you understood the concept clearly and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming tutorials let's meet in the next video where we will be doing exercise 31 of this chapter all the best children